Welcome to the beautiful Mexican American Cultural Center here in Austin, Texas. We can't be there in person, so I'm here to show you around to see some of my favorite things at the MAC. The Emma S. Barrientos Mexican American Cultural Center is dedicated to the preservation, creation, presentation, and promotion of the cultural arts of Mexican Americans and Latino cultures. Austin's Latinx community fought hard to create the MAC that we know today, located in the heart of Rainy Street, which was one of the original Mexican American neighborhoods. The MAC opened to the public in the year 2007. You can see the building itself is a work of art created by Mexican architect Teodoro Gonzalez de Leon. The limestone for the MAC was brought all the way from Mexico. This stuff weighs a ton. Each of these divots in the limestone was chiseled by hand. The architecture was inspired by ancient Mexico. This sculpture at the MAC is named Maya. It's modeled after the traditional Mayan chacmul, the figure found at the base of Mayan temples. We renamed the Cultural Center after Emma Barrientos, who was one of the biggest proponents of the MAC. This sculpture was donated to us by our sister city, Saltillo. Good boy. Did you know Saltillo used to be the capital of Texas when Texas was part of Mexico? Also, did you know Texas was part of Mexico? An original poster from 2017 when we celebrated the 10th anniversary of the MAC coolest amphibian to ever walk the earth. These little guys are called ajolotes and we have five of them here at the MAC. They're native to central Mexico and they're super studied by scientists. Ajolotes have an amazing ability to regenerate their body parts. They're so cute. They always look like they're smiling. I love coming in the media room and seeing all the art made by students this year. This hand stenciled mural created just this year by the Caminos, our teen leadership program. The Caminos teens collaborate with artists on projects like this and they learn leadership skills to help them in the future. Uprooted Dreams, an installation of Alebrijes hand-painted with the utmost detail. The Petalo Sculpture by Robert Mesquiti. Each petal represents a member of the community who's contributed significantly to the cultural arts. And look at all the space we have for the future. Psst, that's for you. Now I'm walking down the snake path by Benito Huerta. You can see it's all the colors of the Mexican milk snake. The snake is a non-poisonous species found on both sides of the U.S.-Mexico border. Una canción de fe y familia. The Perez and Ramos families share a musical tradition spanning several generations. Ernest Rangel Perez, Ruben Ramos, Ruben Rangel Perez, and Alfonso Ramos. ¿Han escuchado Ruben Ramos y la Revolución Mexicana? This sculpture is called Exoskeleton, and it actually has solar panels which are used to produce electromagnetic energy. Super mysterious. Ooh. The Community Healing Garden. This is the place to learn about those healing remedies. Mmm, albahaca. At the edge of the MAC is Austin's Hike and Bike Path, a great way to view Lady Bird Lake. Crackle. Y aquí es donde se grita, ¡Viva México! ¡Viva México! ¡Viva México! Remember to complete our online program survey and you can get a cool Mac bandana. ¡Nos vemos pronto!